Well, the atrocities in Ukraine that President Zelensky talked about were on full display for the rest of the world today, in large part because of the work of journalists. Russian forces have ratcheted up the brutality in attacks on civilians, and the curfew put in place to protect residents in Kyiv is going to expire in just a few hours. CBS's Charlie Daggett is in the capital. Good evening, Charlie. Good evening to you, Nora. Officials from both Russia and Ukraine have expressed optimism today that peace talks were making progress, but there is no hint of these horrors coming to an end. We warn that our report includes some images that some might find disturbing. Ukrainian officials tonight accused the Russian military of bombing this theater in Mariupol where hundreds of people had taken refuge in the hope of some protection from the bombardment. A satellite image before the bombing shows the building intact with the word children in Russian lettering outside. In the besieged port city, even getting into the hospital means running a gauntlet of bombs and bullets. Inside, a vision of hell. Rescue teams stretch in civilians of shelling faster than medics can treat them. Many already too far gone to be saved. An exhausted doctor covers the body of a three-week-old baby. Down in the basement, he says, these are all the people we couldn't save. Help Mariupol pleads resident Olga Budko. Children, women are being killed. Why? Genocide? Allegations of Russian troops intentionally targeting civilians run up and down the country. Residents scramble for cover in Skadovsk in the south. Ukrainian officials say 10 people were shot dead while standing in line for bread in the northern city of Chernihiv. Explosions echoed and plumes of smoke rose around the capital today as the Ukrainian military said its forces mounted a counteroffensive in suburbs to the north. Cell phone footage appears to capture a missile streaking across the city skies. Once again this morning, the smoldering aftermath of another apartment building that came under attack overnight as Russian forces continue to bombard the capital. The ceaseless shelling of Ukraine's second largest city of Kharkiv left a market and school in flames and left trapped residents to wonder three weeks under siege since the invasion began whether any end is in sight. Right around the same time President Zelensky was addressing Congress, President Putin spoke publicly, calling the military offensive a success. British intelligence suggests forces from elsewhere in Russia have begun to redeploy to bolster troops in Ukraine. Nora? Yeah, meaning this might not anytime, end anytime soon. Charlie Daggett, thank you.